So we have already invested more than 36,000 crores in uh, Odisha. Uh, around 50,000 people are working in Odisha, in our plants in uh, Badbil, where we are operating two plants of uh, uh, pellet plant, one four and a half million ton, another also four and a half million tons, total nine million ton capacity, which is uh, the largest uh, pellet making capacity at uh, one site uh, in India. And also in the last two years, we've also done the maximum exports of pellets uh, in India from uh, the Burbil uh, pellet plant. Then we have uh, set up a six million ton most modern steel plant in Anugul uh, in Odisha. And that plant, the blast furnace uh, with Lord Jagannath's blessings is uh, stabilized now. And we are producing uh, more than 9,000 tons of hot metal every day. So we hope to produce uh, three times the production of last year. Last year we had produced just about a million uh, tons in Angul. And this year we hope to produce uh, three million tons of uh, steel in Angul. And so Angul plant is uh, doing very well. And now after we had very good rainfall also uh, this year in, in Angul especially. It was uh, almost double of uh, last year. So the operations during rainfall were, were affected, but now with good season uh, has come. So we are hoping that the production and everything will be ramping up. And we will uh, achieve uh, 3 lakh tons of production in the next month, in uh, November. And after that, we will gradually keep increasing to uh, 4 lakh tons by, by March next year. Uh, still, there, is, uh, there are a lot of challenges in availability of coal. My point is that India has ample availability of non-coking coal. We have, we, have, we have the fifth largest reserves of non-coking coal in the world. So why should there be any shortage of uh, non-coking coal? So MCL needs to increase its production. I am sure they have their own challenges also. But uh, as far as the industry is concerned, uh, since we do not have any captive coal blocks, and coal is the responsibility of Coal India and its subsidiaries, they must ensure that uh, coal is available in abundance, which today it is not. So coal is very expensive. We, at times, we are buying the most expensive coal in the world, which erodes our competitiveness. Similarly, iron ore also, for any steel player, the biggest advantage of producing steel in India is our iron ore, the availability of iron ore. But iron ore prices, if you see in the last one year, they have more than doubled. So there is no reason why iron ore prices should be so high. So we feel that government should encourage whichever mines are closed that they should open so that availability of iron ore improves and the prices come down. That is what is going to improve uh, the performance of all the steel units in the state. So that's why uh, these challenges are still there. And then logistics also. We are not able to get enough uh, railway rakes but I hope now after the rains have subsided, the railway will also be able to provide us uh, more rakes. But logistics and uh, raw materials, they are a challenge. So we are working uh, through all these challenges. And we are, we are hopeful that these challenges will be resolved in the coming months. Okay, I'm not aware of, uh, that is, uh, you have to talk to JSW. I can, I can answer on JSPL's behalf. So see, I appreciate all the efforts of uh, Odisha government for attracting more investment into Odisha. So because Odisha has tremendous potential, Odisha has a huge population of the youth, and uh, so Odisha government has been uh, making all these uh, uh, trips all over the country and all over the world to encourage people to come and uh, invest in Odisha. So we are also supporting that. We are uh, big supporters of uh, Odisha, of investment in Odisha. And even in Angul, in the, once these operations stabilize, we are able to achieve our full capacity of 6 million tons, which we hope uh, we'll be able to do next year. Then from 2021, we want to embark on a new journey where we want to take the capacity from 6 million tons to 20 million tons by 2030. And that will coincide with the, with the government of India's uh, steel policy of producing 300 million tons of steel by 2030. So we would also like to add and uh, Angul, we, 
we have already planned the layout that how we can achieve 20 million tons of production there in the next uh, 12 years and this we are going to do without much of borrowings we are going to first repay our entire debt and this we will do through our internal earnings and through uh, bringing in more equity uh, and we will maybe will take uh, will uh, will also uh, get some strategic investor to be able to achieve this okay so challenges are always there challenges uh, are always there because if there were no challenges then everybody would have been uh, setting up these large plants so these challenges are there but we keep on getting all the support from odisha government and all and the central government also because it is in everyone's interest to resolve all these issues so these challenges are there but in spite of the challenges we are confident that we are going to overcome these challenges and continue our journey of investing in in, in india investing in odisha and producing steel and achieving our objectives so is the is you looking for any new investment so we already have invested uh, hugely like i said in uh, in angul so our job is right now to take the plant to its full capacity and once we achieve that then we want to take this plant from 6 million tons to 20 million tons in the next 10 years by 2030 we want to make it a 20 million ton steel plant and for that we will need um, your good wishes and the blessings of lord jagannath and support from all the stakeholders central government odisha government and together we'll be able to achieve that so investment uh, then in the 12 years would be around uh, uh, 50000 crores to be able to uh, take it from uh, 6 million to uh, 20 million tons additional 50000 additional 50000